so today I'm talking about a Chevy or GMC P0016 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0016 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position, camshaft position, correlation, bank one, sensor A. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors located at the crankshaft and the camshaft that report the location as it spins. This is used for timing. And the onboard computer seeing an issue with these, that they're off, that they're not lined up correctly. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted. No, why? And one thing to mention with this code is that newer Chevys or GMCs have what's called a VVT or variable valve timing. And this includes like small solenoids and the actuators. And if there's an issue with one of these components, then it can cause a P0016 code. So if you do have a newer Chevy or GMC, you may or may not have this variable valve timing. But if you do, then keep in mind that this can cause this problem. And so what are some possible causes? Well, first of all, it could be a timing chain or timing belt. If the timing chain or timing belt's really old and it's not lined up correctly or it's really stretched out or something along these lines, then it could throw off the sensors and everything and cause an issue. And there's timing marks that could be lined up. And if they're off, then you know there's an issue. For example, right here on this crank, there's a little dot right here. And then on the gear above it, there's a little dot. So these need to be lined up. If this dot was before or after, then that would be off and that would be causing an issue. On the cam, it's gonna be the same thing. Here's a dot, here's a dot, and those should be lining up. And if they're not lining up, then that timing chain or timing belt might have slipped or might be really stretched out and just causing issues. So the first thing that could cause this issue is gonna be a timing chain or timing belt. And keep in mind that the tensioner can also cause issues sometimes if it gets weak. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And another thing that could cause this problem is gonna be a bad camshaft sensor or crankshaft position sensor. With this code, is gonna to point to the intake camshaft position sensor, in which the location can vary. It's gonna depend on the engine and the year and things like that. For example, here's a Chevy 1.8 liter engine, and the intake sensor is gonna be located right here on the side of the engine. So this would be the camshaft position sensor on this particular engine. The crankshaft position sensor is going to be located down lower on the engine by the crankshaft somewhere. Again, the exact location is going to vary a little bit depending on the make and the year and things like this. But the next thing that could cause this problem is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor or crankshaft position sensor. And then if you do have a Chevy or GMC that, that has the variable valve timing, then this is going to be the next thing to go and check out. These solenoids quite commonly become clogged up from dirty oil or just age. So you can take them out, check them out, and see if they got really dirty or anything like this. Be sure to check your engine oil because low or really dirty engine oil can throw these solenoids off. So definitely be sure your engine oil is good. And the main components of the variable valve timing is going to be these solenoids. These slide in and out is going to be the wiring going to them. And then also off to the left here, these actuators or sprockets that this timing chain is riding on. These also have like springs inside of there that's adjusting the timing a little bit. And those actuators are part of the variable valve timing. Although by far, it's usually something going on with these solenoids that cause an issue with it. But that would be the next thing to go and check is going to be that variable valve timing. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Chevy or GMC P0016 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.